Thank you for listening to the Starburns Audio Podcast Network. We have so many great comedy shows to add to your playlist. Just last week on Starburns Audio, on the season two premiere of Humans Who Make Games, Adam Conover talks to comedian Ron Funches and Jean Goudon, creative director of the Assassin's Creed series. On Boogie Monster, Cal Kinane and Dave Stone share a perfect recipe for the quarantine cook. This week on Profiles and Eccentricity, they cover the history of the Khorasan Unity Cult, folks for whom a flat earth is ridiculous because they believe it's really a concave shell. Search Starburns Audio on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any podcast platform for our full list of shows featuring hosts like Joe Coy, Amanda Seals, Jessica Chobot, and Jackie Johnson. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Starburns Audio. Enjoy the show. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep laughing. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack embrace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price fail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. Dumb, dumb, so dumb, listen dumb, to dumb, our podcast dumb, jams dumb, with co host Arm and Dan. Dumb, dumb, and dumb, don't be dumb, a jerk, dumb, cause when the music gets the funny dumb, hits and we are gonna dumb, take dumb, you down. Stick around. Hey townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Holland, Mary Holland. Mary. Holland. I'm the population. You're the population. Yeah, you're, the, you're the featured population today oh, in Dumb People I'm Town. Thrilled. Welcome Thank to you the for world being here. Thank you. of stupidity. Oh, what it a is treat. a dumb, big, dumb world that we're living in these days. That's getting what dumber. I hear. <laughs> getting Isn't dumber get, by the day. Right? Isn't it getting dumber? <laughs> Do you feel it? Oh, I, yeah. Like feeling it in a way that we didn't weren't feeling it ten years ago. Even. Or maybe I'm just maybe it's always been dumb, and I've just been woken up to how dumb it is. Dude, you're woke, girl. You know what? That's what people say about me. Girl, they be saying you, you woke. They always say Mary Holland is very woke. <laughs> She's woken. They always say that. She's woken. <laughs> Mary, you did. Um... Yeah, you know, this is our first like time in any level. I think performing together. Yeah, we've been on UCB f- for so long at the same time, but I don't think we've ever been on a show. I don't think we have either. But you did this. <clears throat> it was like a showcase of some sort at UCB. It seems like there's like one a week, and they're they're great. And you did this like ragdoll type character, <laughs> and it was and everybody was doing like, oh, here's my four or five things, and you right. did like one thing that to, I was watching you do it, and I was like, this is so definitive of what she thinks mm-hmm. is funny mm-hmm. and is like oh, a yeah. character that she's like, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to do, do this. this. And when I did the showcase for Comedy Central for Comedy Central Comics to watch, mm-hmm. thinking about you and doing that is why I went out and did just one character. I was oh like, you were inspirational. And, so nice and I was like, hear. this is, I'm going to live and die on this. If you don't like what I'm going to do here, <laughs> Which is fine. You just yes. won't like me. Well, that's exactly. not going to come out here with like what you're doing. A yeah. plate of hors d'oeuvres. And listeners to dumb people don't know how much I love a plate of you various love hors d'oeuvres. A, a past, a past but I was plate like, of hors d'oeuvres. I love some amuse I'm going to do one entree. Sample. Sample. A sampler. Yeah. 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 I'm going to do one entree. You're not going to do an app sampler? No. I love that. And it was because I watched you do that. And I was like, this really is her comedy. Oh, you Thank crushed. You. I mean, you're a monster on stage. In, in oh, addition, God, I mean, you. wild horses. Wild horses were running around doing mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. And Largo, that's a great show. And yeah. you do a show at, and you do a show at UCB Saturday, Saturday nights. Yeah, I do. I do ASCAT every weekend yep. and Why I do that? shows on Friday nights, J V and Soundtrack. I'm just yes. I let me tell you something. I can't get off the stage. She Which, can't. By the way, I love it so much. That's, that's, how, you, that's, that's, that's how, how you get better. That's how you get good. That's it. <laughs> well, you are really one of the best improvisers out there. And oh, in addition, you. people will recognize you and know just they've seen you and everything. You've got a series of commercials running right now. The, yeah. Is it the iPhone? It's, it's uh, yeah. That's an Apple. I actually don't even don't know what totally it is. totally know the, it's There's for like AT&T. And AT&T. And they run all day Sunday during yes. football. Yeah. So uh, during sports, they're That's just running and oh, I know. every <laughs> version of that you, Mary, I'm running. telling you, a minimum during the Bears game last week, I would guess, That's I seven saw times. you in one of your various commercials there at were least two of 12 them. times. And there were Jesus. two different ones. Yeah. Yeah. Good. There, it's the all the one where you add the clock. You make a custom clock. Uh huh. 
I add a number 13 to a clock. <laughs> guys, it's really good. You guys. Uh, guys, that is like, uh, it is why we are dumber. Well, look, we are dumber like Every commercial result. break, I'm like, oh, there's Barrick and there's Mary. I yeah. know Barrick is truly... For years, we should have him dominated. on here. Let's do it. Oh Let's do it. Let's do it. But we have Mary here guys. now. And, um, no, and I, no, no, no. It's Barrick. fine. No, you want to no, have Barrick. No, no, no. Let's talk no, about how guys, good he'll be. Actually, I have a surprise. <laughs> Barrick's here right now. Mary, if you don't mind. Mary, yeah, no, that's thanks fine. for um, coming by. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Barrick, so really weird. quick. You did this thing on stage once. I call him Barack. I go into a Wait a minute. That inspired Mary. Yeah, sorry. Well, let's get into a story because we have our debogs, our dumb boots on the ground. I'm going to keep pushing this. I know you are. Because Brendan, our awesome sound dude, was like, this is what it is, debugs. It's not debugs. When you say sound dude, you mean sound engineer. Sound engineer. But sound dude, he's more of a dude. He is a dude. He's like he's holding up (laughs) fingers like he's rocking out with his cock out. He is a dude. So so he was like debugs. It's like debugs, but they're even better. They're debugs. So they're dumb Dumb boots boots on on the the ground. ground. They find the stories. They send them to Dan. We haven't heard them. Mm -hmm. Mary hasn't heard any little bit of it. You better believe it. So let's get into one right now. Let's do it. Oh, it's Barrick Hartley, by the way, for any but he was like, who's Barrick? Now you know. Watch your commercials. All right. (laughs) The only thing these maids cleaned out was the liquor cabinet. Oh, Oh, God. This was sent in by Frack hyphen and stein at frack underscore you do you guys get can into we this? stop the frackensteining can we <laughs> oh, please can we oh. to the ocean can we stop it i, I mean truly. it's ruining you, the earth do you guys get into the change you your handle for halloween thing i've no, never done I it no. I've, I've noticed it a lot this I'm, year i would be terrified to change uh, my handle. no not the handle just your your name, name above your handle oh. so your handle doesn't change <laughs> But like oh, you're still you know who's frack, great at that? At frack you, Hampton, Hampton, Hampton frack you, frack you. Hampton Yunt is like just the best. Ian Carmel does it a lot. He's too. the best at yeah. Schmendrick it's, Lamar and stuff like that. I've never that done that. Aaron now Uris. I should try to do that. I know people yeah. do it for spooky Halloween time. They Ooh, change like their that. their name mm-hmm. in some way. Morgan Murphy's bit about the museum of was it a Holocaust museum or something like that that was also like certainly a place that should not have participated in any Halloween mm-hmm. sort of yeah. She called it like the the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> oh, they oh, brilliant! Oh, man. why did they do it? Oh, so just why don't. Why did they do it? it is, all right. So so so. Uh, all right, sorry. Okay. The go, only go. thing these maids cleaned out was the liquor cabinet. So Ayo. I've have you driven by and seen like that van that promotes like topless, topless maids? maids yes. That you can order. Yes. Yes. I drove what? by that. It's on like, Last night. Yeah. What? I feel why? like well, who has said. You know what? I want my house clean, and that's the thing I want the most is my house clean because it's dirty. Sure. But I need that everybody to be topless. <laughs> I mean, the truth is, who cleans better than someone without their shirt on? Right, because they're very aware of, <laughs> Dun- of dust. dust. <laughs> they're just they're more attuned because their skin is exposed. They're Thank like you. More aware. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And, and they are maids. They are like the highest level maid you can you can buy. They're oh, yeah. going to be cleaning for their lives. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a first. We've been recording a lot of stories and like getting a lot of things banked up. I saw, I'll show it to you, not right now, but in a minute. I saw the picture that accompanied this Mm -hmm. and I read the headline and I knew we were going to have Mary on. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, yes. And I have not read this story. (laughs) Okay. Okay. I love it. So just on, when I get to the picture, like I think I probably read like the first 25% of it. Uh And I was like, yep. Dan, I love that this is going to be a treat for you. When I get to the picture, and based already that we know these people stole all the stole the liquor, liquor from the liquor I was like, cabinet. Done. This is a dumb people town story. Okay. No problem. The no maids, problem. So they, they cleaned but, it up and cleaned it out. So full disclosure, <laughs> if it takes any hard left turns, I didn't know they were coming. All right. This okay. is great. We're all going to be surprised. I, know. I, know. Let's just, I just hope they don't murder a dog. That's all <laughs> Me I'm saying. too. Oh, oh, that, I will stop reading. We'll and stop be like, reading. That's a story, these guys. maids are terrible. <laughs> Um, remember that we did a live show once and somebody did a story about like animals getting hurt and they were, they were like Dan do you know something because I, I know all the stories when people bring them to live shows I've already read them I just didn't choose to do them or haven't gotten to them yet and this person started and I go I'm going to stop you you don't want to do this story <laughs> yeah. stop. and people were like no let her do it and I'm like, like I'm no, telling no, you no one wants I'm, this no one she's wants fine I'm well she's not fine in this. she's <laughs> let her do it she, is so she like, wants to do this it poor, poor girl god bless her I love her and I love the energy I love the effort and I want everybody to feel comfortable I was looking out for her, not shutting her down. She's fine. And I said, She's not fine. I said, okay, keep reading. And she goes, she was like, a man walked up to some swans. Nope, no, And then nope, she keeps nope, reading and nope. she's like, oh, it gets real dark. I go, yeah. 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 That's why I said stop. Come on. I know. It's never okay to hurt an animal. All right. No. 
Oh, what did he say to the swans? <laughs> he said mean things. Talk oh, so that's much. So smack. I hate that. Talk a lot it's of so not cool. Uh, treat, him, treat him like ugly ducklings is what he did. A oh, Brooklyn woman unbelievable. expected a spick and span home when she hired a cleaning company to tidy up her Williamsburg pad. Okay, mm. so we're in Williamsburg. Yeah. Mm, she's very rich. Very Instead, wealthy. the maids trashed her apart- apartment, oh, boy. Oh, ate her ice cream. Oh, how dare I they! When you, when you think there's still ice cream in the freezer, even and if you've forgotten eaten. and you're the one who ate it, you're still like, God and damn it. And it's like Talenti with like the car- oh. salted caramel and it has oh, the little caramel it. things in it. Like, I also, I just I'm... really appreciate that these, these maids were like, first things first, right. let's check on the ice cream situation. <laughs> right. If there is ice cream, we need to eat it. Right. Yep. And then we'll, you know, move on to the booth. And you know what I also love is that she has an apartment, which, unless she's a gazillionaire, I'm going to guess at most is like 1,500 square feet or 2,000 sure, square sure, feet. Sure. At, at most. the very most. Right. right. That's a big place. And there are multiple maids coming over to clean. Like, one person right. can't handle this. No. <laughs> Anytime you're like, we're sending over our three maids to clean your one bedroom apartment, I'd be like, that's too many it's maids. Too many people. You're going to trash Are you gonna it, clean steal it in my 12 liquor. minutes? <laughs> Instead, the maids trashed her apartment, ate her ice cream, guzzled her booze. Guzzled it. Guzzled. Mm. Because nothing goes them... better with, like, <laughs> mint chip than, like, schnapps. Yeah. And one of them Hell even yeah. passed out drunk. That, Love that. That's kind of great. Is, you got to well, respect these ladies. Balls to the wall of, on this. I mean, yeah, if you're going to fuck around your job, fuck like, around. No, but truly go for it. Go right. Please for it commit on. to it. Right. Yeah. Please don't do it half ass. Don't make no. me be like, is this fireable? I, exactly. Right. Did no, they take my ice cream really or did I eat my ice cream? Did I finish my ice cream? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, no. It's like laying in it, her, in her she, passed out hand. Right, if she wasn't passed out, you'd be like, did I do this? Did I drink the full bottle of butterscotch schnapps? Cool. Did, <laughs> did I pass? Out on did. the cou- oh no, she did. <laughs> I kind of want to try that. Butterscotch I'll rock a peppermint. Uh, butterscotch. Quote, I, mean. I hired two ladies from Joanna's. But cleaning butterscotch service. would just be butterscotch scotch. Butter- it's actually called butter shots. Butter no, shots. Really? Yes, my parents have a bottle. Stop it. <laughs> Stop Stop them. Them. We have the same kind of family. Stop them yeah. right now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. The Howlands. Right next to the rumple mints. <laughs> All right. Well, I We're hired... going to the Hollands tonight, and oh, they have I hope butter they don't shots. bring out the butter shots. They'll tissue. try and push it on you if you don't want it. You, you know just Dave tell them Holland. No. Okay, He'll... everyone, after the meal, everyone t- gets a shot of uh, butter tell, shots. Tell her you don't, don't want it. And I here you go. Tell her you don't want it. I can't tell you. Well, now what it's too it? late. What's the problem? Now it's too late. She put it in front of you, and she already poured it. You I'll can't pour it back. It. I'll uh, drink them all. Great, Ron yeah. will drink it. Ronnie. Where are you Ron. from, Mary? I'm from Galax, Virginia. Oh, Ooh, nice. So nice. it's more of a southern accent uh-huh. Than, uh-huh. Than, a, than Midwestern. I like but you know what? It's a mom. It's a mom. Right. It's just a mom. <laughs> quote, like, I don't understand. There's a quote. I hired two ladies from Joanna's cle- Cleaning Service in Brooklyn, and they didn't clean a thing. Just drank all my liquor and fucked up my home. Fumed oh, Genevieve my. Snow oh. in a now viral Facebook rant posted Monday. Genevieve Snow. My roommate. Let me guess, your parents paid for the maid service. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. My roommate came home to see one of them blacked out, face down, in our kitchen. That is in. Whoa. My spice rack was smashed. My marble coffee table upended, which smashed a stone Ah. bowl. Keys were gone. Booze was gone. And chocolate ice cream left on the sofa. I am now going to show you the picture of the of what they found when oh they God. walked into this apartment. Wait. I'd be like, did someone get murdered? I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. I could have just shown you the photo, and, and we, we could have done, done a whole, whole story. Whole show on I this. I got to see it. Ready for this? I'm yeah. ready. Can't wait it's going to be on the Facebook ready. page. We'll be on the Facebook page. You have to join the Facebook page. If you haven't joined it, this is a Think reason about to join it. This is what brunch. you're missing if you're, you're at brunch. Your friend's like, what's going on with you today? Well, I have two people cleaning my house right now, so yeah. I'm going to run back there when we get done. Just two make sure people. it's good that they well, actually Your house is so small. I know. company. They send two because they want It's either two hours for one or one hour for two. I get it. Yeah, yeah, Fine, yeah. Jesus. Um, I think you need no one. one's yelling at I you. I think you need one. You ready for this picture? We'll take two butterscotch shots right over here <laughs> and the check. Thanks so much. Are you ready Anna, for this I picture? want a mini cupcake. Yes, ready. Here we go. Oh, Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> she, like, knocked a spice rack yeah. over. Oh, my oh. She's out her f- Look Mary, at her feet, Mary. Mary, she's out her flip-flops. She's her feet out- are covered in... Dirty. 
Her well, the place needed to be clean. Her be clean. feet are dirty. That woman is just out. <laughs> for the listener at home, happened? for the listener at home, Mary could not be more invested in this oh photo. My she, God. You know, I gotta say, this looks more like a, a, this looks like a crime scene, like a murder situation. Yeah, I was situation. like, what happened to this woman? It Jerry like Orbach. Got, Jerry yes. Orbach walked in. She, she got, got hit on. She the got head. hit on the head. That's right. what it looks like. There's, There's a, a candlestick in a the kitchen. There's a watermelon on the ground. Are they sure she was blackout drunk or was she bonked on so the head? So I'm gonna do the two minutes bonked. before she passed out. <laughs> She thought she could climb up and <laughs> hang off the spike rack. She's like, so I, I can say, do it. I, no, <laughs> listen, I can do I, it. Don't do Honey, that. do not do it. Don't do it. Yes, watch I me. Yeah, yeah. You can't do it. I you it. cannot do it. <laughs> watch. She, she fell off and cracked up, hit her head. And was then, about to throw up and then just slept. Jesus. So it, I feel like it all happened in that. Also, if you have a head injury, don't go to sleep. Yeah. No. no. Don't. Keep drinking. Stay. But, <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's at our least medical she didn't, advice. At least she was sleeping on her arm. Side. So if she, she did throw up, it, it would come, come out. It's not, she's not going to swallow it. That's true. It. Right. That's true. So right. she did something she did right. right. She did something right. You <laughs> she know, did it listen, right. say what you will about her cleaning, but she knows how to pass out. <laughs> so the maid service the is maid like, do you want? Do you want us to leave our maids there in the place with you when you come back? Right. The the, the maids are. You gotta. They're probably like. You gotta make a mess before you can clean it up. Hey, you gotta make. (laughs) In order to clean up an omelet, you gotta break Break an egg. You gotta break a mess. You gotta break an egg. You gotta break a mess before you make an egg. (laughs) Eugene you know, says, what that's not what it is. <laughs> Jennifer, said, that's not what it is. <laughs> she said she's out of pocket for the damage and adding into, insult to injury. When she asked for reimbursement, the company tried to explain it all away. Oh, I cannot wait to hear yeah, that. What did they say? Well, first off, how much money do you think Eugene Genevieve Snow says she is out of pocket? 10000 Coming to you with an overview to find out how much. $10, that's what she said. Like, that's not what uh, yes, it is, yes, but yes. she definitely she said so, Okay, so Mary is clearly picking up on something about Genevieve, Genevieve. Snow that, yeah. like, she's an exaggerator. Well, she sure. I go. mean, the picture does sort of. Right. Or her, her lawyer friend <laughs> was like, grand. her lawyer friend was probably like, Genevieve, you start yeah, you at 10 grand. 10 grand. Yes. Even and if we get down to three. If we get three, I'll be happy. Thank All right. God, I have a lawyer friend. I say 5000 5000 I'm in that same camp. I'm going to say two grand. Two grand. A lot, by the way. Yeah, a yeah. Lot. That's, that's no is a lot of money. money. Drink all our liquor. Bring all our liquor. It, liquor's expensive. Genevieve mm-hmm. Snow says she's out of pocket more than get your answers in now, Tony, because she says the amount of damage totaled her four hundred dollars. That's oh, it. It's not bad. <laughs> wow, it's not bad. I feel terrible. I'm Mary. so sorry, Ten Genevieve grand Snow. Way <laughs> off. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. Mary, 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 some stuff about Genevieve. Snow. No, no, no. I'm just saying, if that were me, right. I would be like, I, I would not only w- I would I be adding up the sort of the the liquor, the ice cream, the marble but, but table, the, the stone bowl, the stone bowl, but also the Spice emotional drink. damage, yeah. yes. the mental damage. Even like, in my house, uh, exactly. Thank you for having yeah. the guts to say that. No, I thank know. you. <laughs> we'll get this, guys. Thank you for thanking me. When she, when Genevieve asked for reimbursement, the company tried to explain it all away with a sob story, and I'm going to tell you, this is the sentence where. I stopped and was like, yes, okay. it's in dumb people. This is how you know it's in dumb All of it's in dumb but people. But I stopped here. I haven't read anything past I this. I can't wait, Dan. This is a surprise for you, too. <laughs> they explained it all the way with a sob story that the sloshed sweeper's husband uh, had just left her yep. and her teen daughter was knocked up. Okay. So the cleaning lady was yep. like, no. yeah, my teen daughter's pregnant and my husband left me, so sorry. I Let went me shot. have this. But I wait went- <laughs> <laughs> I went rough shot on your home. But wait a minute! But she was there with someone else. Yep, and that person yeah. was Who like, was "Deb, th- stop, Deb." Right? <laughs> was this person? This person Deb. was just like, "I can't control." I right. can't control. So they joined She's in. Just lost her. Husband. I'm the designated that cleaner. I make sure. Wait, her husband but, lost his job and no, the, left her. Left her. Yeah, yeah. Look, and her daughter's not. Gone. Can oh. I just say something? Well, like, you really lose tough. someone and you gain. But if you're her, don't you like looking at the company and being like, <laughs> "One <laughs> lovely optimistic." You know what it is. One door closes and a vagina. Open. Open. That's right. In a spice I said a vagina open. Well, no, no, no. no. But don't, if you're her, aren't you like calling the company that you work for and being like, can you not tell everybody what's going on? Or, or yeah. look, we questioned at the beginning of this why two people were sent on this job. Sure. Someone needed to be there to spot for this woman and make sure she wasn't going to do exactly what she did. This is as much on the other cleaner as it is on this Well, the other cleaner joined in. 
Yeah, they the both. Other, she went. She got sucked into her vortex. She, I don't no, know where. Where is she? <laughs> yeah, she Genevieve, left her there. Who's your cleaning buddy? She did. She just left yeah, her. You pass know, you out. Never leave your cleaning floor. buddy. Genevieve says she's used Brooklyn-based Joanna cleaning service for the occasional spruce up dating back to 2013. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Joanna right. cleaning. I like so to call it Obama too. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And emailed her, <laughs> she and emailed her most recent contact at the business, a woman identifying herself as Joanna, and I cannot pronounce this last name. So, so I guess she went straight to the top. Oh yeah, yeah. Genevieve. Yeah. Oh no, you're you going. You gotta call Joanna. Go to the source. <laughs> she you said, gotta go straight to Joanna. <laughs> she left the two maids in that day before heading off to work. She left $180 for the cleaning plus a $60 tip. That's a what? Nice. That's Genevieve. way too big of a tip for well, these. That's well, that's very generous. Yeah. But one of the housemates... Take oh. anything you want. If you're thirsty, just grab <laughs> yeah. something. Help yourself. But Help don't yourself. fucking touch my ice cream. <laughs> but one of her housemates, I guess room, fancy for roommate, woke up a few hours later to find the cleaners sitting on their couch eating. Wait a minute. Right. So Genevieve didn't... leaves her work with money. By the way, And there's a roommate again, still in the home. Have you ever lived in New York? No. Okay, you've been to New York, though. Yeah. We lived in New York. We lived in Chelsea in sure. a three-bedroom apartment, which is... Huge Hell by New yeah. York standards. We had another roommate. There, you know what's going on. Like if yeah. you're cleaning, they did no cleaning. They just got in and started, started eating. drinking. Didn't know and there's eating. a roommate still in the house. Asleep. Asleep. Oh so the roommate gets out, God. finds the cleaner sitting on the couch yep. eating. Mm-hmm. This is what the roommate said. Quote, you know when you're not supposed to be doing something, people jerk up really quickly? They did that. <laughs> <laughs> said roommate Kristen. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that moment of like, yeah, he's in. Nipo Musino. That's my best guess on how to say Kristen's last name. Kristen who, Nipo Musino. When she went off her, as, so the roommate gets up to go to her job at Soul Cycle. This is so on brand for New York. Yeah. Brooklyn. Soul Cycle. I'm just going to Soul Cycle and there oh, are people eating. She works right. at Soul Cycle. Which means it's taking place in she the I Feel Free like, universe. She, right. She sounds like Jim ja- Jim Gaffigan's Gaffigan. counter voice. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to Soul Cycle. Why, when why Chris, would they, why be are they doing jumping this? up like that? That's so weird. But when Kristen, <laughs> so she gets home before Genevieve. When Kristen Uh-oh. returned home around 5.30 p.m., it was a very different scene. So this was like morning, Jesus. now it's 5.30. So they jumped up when they saw the person, and then they're like... That's not the moment that that's you say, gonna get out of my house. No, no, they're like, we're going to... I guess we should just stay. I, I guess, you know, worse. since they're sitting here eating our food and lying to us, best thing I should do right now is just leave them Oh, you're blaming the Kristen for leaving them there I eating am. on the couch? She There's a lot of people that could have stopped this. There are a lot of people that could have stopped this. Well, that's true. This. There were Joanna, many opportunities. Yeah. Joanna... Yeah. I, the responsibility really. The daughter got Joanna. knocked up. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, she came back at five thirty. She could have said no. It was a very different scene. Maybe the house couldn't. was a mess. Maybe she could. One maid was nowhere to be seen, and the other was passed out on the floor next to a spiced, smashed spice rack. Mm-hmm. Quote: I walk in and I see bare feet, and she's literally laying right here. Kristen said, pointing at the kitchen floor. She left the impar- She left the apartment in horror. And called the cops. Yep. This is Kristen. Yeah. I will say, I saw the picture, and I'm not trying to be sexist, but it was a sweet rack. She has a sweet rack. <laughs> Jason. Spicy rack. I would say a spicy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> beat me to it. A uh, spicy rack? <laughs> yeah, a spicy rack. So Kristen. I said spicy rack. Uh, uh, you got uh, it. You got it. You got it. You got it in. Under the wire. Under the wire. Under the wire. So when Kristen <laughs> ca- leaves, she calls the cops. They all return to find the maid. Ready for this? Awake. Sitting on the couch <laughs> and digging into a pint of chocolate ice cream. I, Dude, <clears throat> she won't quit. No. Woman, by the that way, that is no. amazing. I, to me, if I just did that in my house, the amount of shame of having drank <laughs> yeah. so much that I passed out and then just sitting on my couch eating ice cream. I know. The amount of shame swirling around me would be like, I'd be like, why do I do this? Why don't I have self control? Why yes. can I not stop? I with oh one one scoop isn't enough for me. Everybody's it's, sleeping upstairs, and I'm still eat eating those emotions, Rand. God damn it! Don't you think too? Like if I'm Chris, I'd be like just to the maid, like. I don't know where to start in this process of dealing with you, but the first thing I think I should ask is, do you know you don't live here? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Do you know you don't We're live here? We're not hiring you to live here yeah, for no. a day. Kristen no. says when they walked in with the cops, quote, she is licking ice cream and hammered, beyond hammered. Holy she drank shit. one whole bottle of Broker's Gin, gin oh, whoa. and most Damn. of a bottle of Kettle. 
Wow. wow. <laughs> this lady's out of her mind. I By know. the way, also someone who can drink more than I could drink in a month. I know, truly. I could do a shot and be like, I'm good. I could right. do a butterscotch shot. And that's it. Now With listen, your I could do a full bottle of butterscotch. So you better believe it. Butterscotch. The kettle one. <laughs> you and Harry Potter. The <laughs> NYPD. <laughs> <laughs> the NYPD confirmed co- confirmed cops went to the apartment and sent a drunk drunk woman from from there to the hospital. Good, good. Yeah, good. She's gotta Genevieve get. says they didn't take a report. However, telling her the cleaners hadn't committed any crimes and advised her to take it to civil court. How do they? What not about a- ice cream? Theft? They stole chocolate. <laughs> I know. Well, she first of all, they didn't break and enter. Right. But they That's did true. take things of hers, stolen property, food so, being property. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like, you can prosecute Gen- that. So, Genevieve emails Joanna of Joanna's cleaner. She then says her husband she left says, her quote, and her daughter. Joanna. Yeah. She's, she's having family problems. Yeah. A quote. Her husband left her after 19 years of marriage. Wow. And that day, when she was cleaning oh. your apartment, she had the phone call that her teenage daughter is pregnant. Oh. I understand going out and being like, I need yeah, a drink. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, leave yeah. work. Yeah, exactly. Just oh, like, yeah, just leave the apartment. I can't work today. I would say oh. the, 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 if fat, this is, if true. this woman had just left and not cleaned the place, we wouldn't have a story. No. That's so, true. So that so I'm glad she stayed. So ultimately, we thank, thank you. her. Thank you for and taking down a spice rack. Thank you for to be putting work down. above everything else. Yeah, thank and you. And I for say work it. very loosely. <laughs> <laughs> W-E-R-K. God. Joanna says that she believes in her company, yada, yada, yada. They're all great. All Gen- of them. Genevieve did what the only thing you can do. I'm posted about her ass. experience on Yelp. Yeah, yeah. Yep. good. Take it I to mean, Yelp. You got Take to. it to Yelp. And Yelp then Joanna, out. we'll get out of here on this. Oh, no, sorry. We will not. Jo- oh, Joanna said we have nothing to hide. She she Jeez. she said a lot I'll to hide. Say. I know. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> she said... Maybe Snow the said, sex of the baby, of the daughter, <laughs> hiding that. She said, then she, poor Genevieve Snow can't even find, like, an address for this business because it's all, like, run through so phone. so crazy. Because yeah. she just wants to send them a bill, and she wants to get this resolved. So here's the thing. It's First maddening. Off, she's jo- gonna- Joanna is an idiot because the second this happens, the for only— 400 bucks, you could have made it go The away. only quote she should have put in this newspaper mm-hmm. is— we are so sorry. She's asking for four hundred dollars. We're going to give her five hundred and a free cleaning if she wants it. Uh, we're taking care of this. Right. Love that. End of story. And I would buy her another bottle of butter shots, yes. a bottle of kettle, of a bottle of gin. Get her some ice nice cream. bottle of red, you know, bottle of white, whatever kind of Provence, mood she's in tonight. Yes. Like some nice spices. Spice yeah. rack. Yeah. New spice rack. Um, New spice I mean, rack. Literally four hundred bucks. It could have just gone away. That's dumb too. There you go. That Everybody's really being dumb. The world is getting dumber. The world is getting dumber. You know it. That is one story down in the books. We've yep. got Mary Holland with us. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back with more dumb people town right after this. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more dumb people town. It's a trying time that challenges all of our basic assumptions. However, one thing that brings us all together is our common humanity. Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges. And Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format. Plus, tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Teams of all shapes and sizes in companies like Google, Fender, and even Costco all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home, or in an office. No matter what device you're using, computer, tablet, or phone, Trello syncs across all of them, so you can stay up to date on all the things your team cares about. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello.com. Hey guys, welcome back to DPT. Uh, we want to thank everyone who's been a part of our drip. Yeah, let's read some names. Let's do it. Let's bang these out. Let's get into and it. Honor some great people mm-hmm. in our town. Let's do it. Caitlin Winnie, the poo. Oh. Caitlin Winnie, I said Cooper. the poo. I see. I go Cooper. Caitlin man. Winnie Cooper. All right, fine. Do it. Oh that no, way. I mean they're both valid. One's my favorite Disney animated movie, and the other's my favorite TV show. There you so go. Like, you can't it's go the, wrong with Caitlin a Winnie. Winnie, the Wonder Year. She's Winnie. <laughs> uh, Kevin Suchet. Suchet. That, ooh, you're going with Suchet. 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 
Shantae. Shantae. It'd be cool Shantae. if it was Sucky, but he's like undefeated in rest, like high school wrestling. Yeah, dude, like, I got, like, who you got to wrestle this week? Sucky. Sushi. No. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, done, you're dude. Losing. Like There's he's no gone the opposite, like like Little John in Robin Hood. Like he, he's so big, they he call him Little John. He can do the Vision and, Quest yeah. peg thing backwards. All right. Uh, way, you're, you're a winner no matter what. Catherine Holmgren. Holmgren. The Mike Holmgren. Is she related to Mike Holmgren? Is she related to him? I don't know. Manuel M. Mo Garcia. I love this person. great name. So uh, tweets all the time at us. Just a great, great dude. And Thank well, you so much. Mo Garcia. Great contributor. How about Michael B? Jordan. Michael B in the place to be. Michael B. Jordan. Uh, John Gillies. Gillies. What's that from? That's from uh, Saturday Night Live. That was uh, Kristen Wiig's character. Gillies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I have a friend, uh, my friend Jill. We were like, Jilly. So John Gillies. <laughs> Travis Cooper. Travis Cooper is, it, is a contributor. Undercover to the cop. Campaign. Undercover cop. Travis Cooper. Is Tra that the undercover Travis name Cooper. or the Travis bounty Cooper. hunter? That's the name of the cop undercover or the undercover cop's name? Travis Cooper, freelance <laughs> gynecologist. All right, uh, Jen Schrader. Jen Schrader. Schrading it up. Thank you, Jen. Two ends on Jen, which I like. Timothy Roberts. Sounds like a, like a famous actor from the 90s. Mm -hmm. He's, wasn't he in all the Woody Allen's movies? Woody Allen's movies? <laughs> Woody, Woody, Allen's, Woody, Woody Allen's? You Ruth's Chris Woody <laughs> Allen Woody's movies. Allen. Uh, Craig Groff Folsom. Folsom. They, dad in Folsom Prison. I knew. I, I love it. I wonder if we could all write down ahead what of time we think what we think gonna we're going to go. And we all uh, go you know where I'm way. going with this one. Je and I know where Jay's going yeah, with this yeah, one. Yeah, me too. Jennifer Roshek. It's a Roshek test. Yeah, oh, you that's where you were going? I thought you were going to say uh, Jennifer Roshek. Roshek, Illinois? No. Oh. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's from Shawshank. Uh, uh, Roshank Redemption. Roshank Redemption. Redemption. Yes, no, but it is. Roshank Redemption. Well, that's the beauty of a Jennifer Roshank is that it is what you, you see in it, what you, you want to see. see. Oh, that's great. Uh, Claire DB. DB. We used to have a kids' show in St. Louis. DB's called Delight. DB's Delight, where it was a really creepy puppet. puppet. And really? a guy Claire, was you trivia. are not DB's Delight. Uh, Glenn. Glenn. Just straight that's up. It. He's That's the right. share of dumb people town. I'm going to do this one twice because you know I have to. Linda Hartman, Linda Hartman. <laughs> Linda Hartman, Linda Hartman. Mary, Mary Hartman, Hartman Mary Hartman. Hartman. Yes. Uh, and Linda Hartman contributes so much to this show. Yes. Uh, in the Thank social, you so uh, much. And all the social media. We love that she's I a part love of this it. town. And then I want to give a huge shout out to do it. my girl, Kristen Kim. Thank you, Thank Kristen you so Kim. much, Kristen Kim. Double K. Thank you to all these people. If we haven't read your name, we're going to get to it. Yeah. We really appreciate Especially it. Especially Kristen. Look at her holding down the yes. city council membership. She'll be co hosting. Christian. show with us oh I can't wait we're gonna be starting those in the next uh, and we say like around December and we had our first meet and greet with uh, we had our first meet and greet how good was did that go it, truly truly it awesome. was just a hang it was a straight up hang pre-show and we really got to know our uh, it was pillars just, of the it community it was just fun and nice they got to ask yep. us questions and we had a blast thank you to all those people uh, it is fantastic to have you on board and if you haven't signed up for the drip that is a great way for you to support the show mm -hmm. and uh, and put a little and start to write a wrong that happened in this universe to our buddy <laughs> Jan Flato I know uh, uh, we, we're on our way to getting him back, but I think we need to get up to like 5,000 people on the trip in order to I make something like that happen. I think, I think you can. guys can do that. Uh, all right, let's jump into Here story go. number two. Let's you ready? This was sent in by Joe Luttrell at The Gentleman Joe. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Dude. He sends in so many. Thank you. And in honor of the upcoming Halloween holiday, mm -hmm. that's why we're doing this Holland's story. Day. The yeah. Holland Day. Holland Day. Holland Day. Holland Days. <laughs> Celebrate. James J. Yochim. With a J? No, it's uh. that they put his nickname <laughs> in the thing. Oh. James J is in like J-A-Y. Right. And yes. that was in quotes. <laughs> yeah. James just, J. Just say James Yochim. You we, can call me J. Have you ever met you are one of them, Jason Sklar. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's named James or Jason, you you've called them J and they're like, Don't do that. No. no. It has no. to I'm sure it exists. But it's like I've assumed. never assumed I know, James I would... or Jason goes by J. Really? Unless they tell me you've... I go by J. J. I just casually like J. Yeah, like, and I'm like, yep. I all, I assume every James goes by Jimbo. Jimbo, oh, yes. and I always assume uh -huh. Jimmy, Jim Bob, Jamestown Massacre. Yep, Jim, that's a bad one. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Sorry, I, I like waited for Mary to take a sip before <laughs> Huge I tried sip to of water that. James J. Yochum <laughs> loves. Haunted houses. Oh. I love them too. You do, James really? Jay oh, what do you okay. love about them? I love them. So I'm going to invite you. I know this sounds crazy, but my kids' school, like they do the greatest haunted house. I love a ever. kid haunted house. You want to come to this? It's nope. unreal, Dan. It is. 
Of so course. all these people who are parents at my kids' school are like set designers and stuff. Oh, and there so you go. they make the most scary, most kick ass haunted house that is so scary for these kids. Like as an adult, I'm like holding onto my son's hand. I'm like, I'm terrified. I'm literally like, someone's really? coming at me. Go? It's so fun. Really? It's at Wonderland Avenue School if you want to come. Nice. Let me know. Do you remember, Hell Mary, yeah. like, the remember the old school UCB haunted house? That like Scott Ackerman used to do on like Tuesday no. nights, and they would like take. I over never the... went to that. You never went to it. I'm what? devastated. The, the, the coolest we thing did. we ever did was, and we were a part of this. God, was this fun what? at the old Acapulco's, which was across the street from Largo at the Cornet. <gasps> we oh. it was we like an old Mexican Hell, Hollywood, Hollywood Hell House. house. So we did like we were the tour guides on a Hollywood dream. Hell, Hell House, where Hell, Hollywood Hell House. The script was an actual. Script, script from an actual church Christian, down. like right. like trying sure. to scare like a you straight. Like, yeah, 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 down yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to scare straight. Jill Soloway, Jill Soloway was involved in it, and oh, Bill wow. Maher. Bill Maher was wow. played Jesus in yeah, one of them, God. and we were, and so we took a group of people around. It was a huge script that we had to learn, and we took a group of people around to each thing, and it was like anti-homosexuality, anti-this, yeah. anti-abortion, anti-abortion, all this stuff along the way. All the things that are, all the things that the Supreme Court's against now. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it just led you all the way in the end to like uh, someone who played Jesus. The other guy who played Jesus was, what's his name? He was uh, part of- uh, Jim Valley's thing? Jim Valley's- uh, Oh, yeah. The his, other guy. Oh, what God. is his name? So I'm blanking on his name, and he's so Michael, good. He was from I'll Ferris Bueller's Day Off, mm-hmm. and he played the mm-hmm. snooty, snotty, yeah, the guy- Cameron? No, the no, guy no, from no, the no, no. Uh, Shea restaurant, Shea oh, Louis, yeah, that really yeah, nice yeah. restaurant, oh, yeah, the maitre yeah, yeah. d'. That guy is so that funny. Guy. He was part of the comedy team with Jim Valley, uh, and he was so good in this, and he played Jesus, and they were both unbelievable. And then at the end, there was this like Christian dance party at the end of the whole <laughs> tour, and with candy and cake. It was really one of the coolest things we've ever been a part of, and there were like two different sets of tour guides leading tours, all the groups. That's the thing. so fun. It was great. Not, Mary, have you done the Haunted Hay Ride? Oh, yeah, I yeah, do it yeah, every yeah. year. yeah. Um, Queen Mary's Dark Harbor is yep, also great. That one, that one gets scary. It does get, it gets scary. scary if you're a little claustrophobic like me because you're walking through stuff in the hall yeah. where it's like, oh, there's, I can't move. And you're like, how yeah. close to me are yeah. they going to get? Scary. Like, what are you they going what? to do? They try and scare you. There's some like uh, immersive theater experiences like Creep LA is a great one where you do sign a waiver where it's like they're going to touch you. But it's just it's truly just to like lead you places. Right, right, right. Um, but I actually They're going to touch you is a phrase you should never hear. <laughs> they're going to touch you. <laughs> I'm going to touch you. Where you go? Um, I went to, when I was growing up, I, so I grew up in um, a small town in Virginia, and there was... Um, um, a very active uh, evan- evangelical like sure, population sure. there, and this boy that I was sort of uh, d- dating, mm-hmm. if yeah, you can do that when you're right. twelve, no. um, Jonathan and- Schmock. Jonathan Schmock so good. was not so his good. name. No, that guy is very good. guy from Ferris. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but he went to this church and he took me to like uh, a Hell House like show, and mm-hmm. I will never forget. Mm-hmm. I was like so confused by it because the little vignettes they were showing. There was one of this woman. Like a little skit where this woman w- was, her daughter was like, Mom, please, let's go to church. Don't mm-hmm. go to work. Don't, you know, put mm-hmm. work above church. Sure. And the mom's like, honey, I have to work. Like, I, I you know, we have to have money. And, right. and so the daughter's like, okay. And she watches her mom, like, drive off. And the mom gets into a car accident yep. and goes straight to hell. Straight oh. to hell. And it's wild. And it's like, what's what's the lesson here? Well, she got, to be fair. <laughs> Don't provide for well, your children. to be fair, she did work in hell. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, she was going to her job. Honestly, yeah, hey. she was. That's it's a hell true. Of a commute. That's right. She had to go. It, she had to get into an hell accident of a every. Thank Isn't you. it funny though when you're not indoctrinated with that stuff? So you're literally just looking at it with an objective eye, and you're like, "This doesn't, it doesn't check make, out. It doesn't that track." Doesn't like, wasn't that horrible? Do you want yeah. that to be you? No. Like, go to. Yeah, I want a yeah, job. I, want I a have job. to go to work. Yeah. Gotta make money. Gotta make money. Okay. Okay. Who's right here? You shouldn't <laughs> ever be saying as you're watching one of those. Who was? Who are we rooting for? All right. All right. James J. Jones. Yochum. 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 Oh yeah. Sorry. Yochum. No, don't ever say hey, sorry. Yoch- people tell I'm Yochum sorry. Yochum don't, if, Mary. Yochum <laughs> if you got him. Yochum if you got him. <laughs> Dwight, I Dwight I Yochum. Uh, Yochum if you got him. Barrett, <laughs> come on in. You okay. Got him. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, Jay Yochum loves haunted houses. I, At least he did. Until. Until oh, this week. Someone punched him in the nuts. That's what's going to happen. A Friday night visit 
to a Madison, Tennessee attraction left Jay Yochum with a serious wound and Metro Nashville police at a, quote, dead end. Oh, uh, uh, God. Uh, this is where you Jay. hate the people who write no, the article. I love it. It's really, it's primo pun time. Thank you. In their investigation, according to a department spokes spokeswoman, Chris Mumford. Spookswoman. Spookswoman. <laughs> oh, no, you okay, didn't. guys, you got Don't me stop. started. Don't stop. Don't stop. In this article, she is a spokeswoman. <laughs> Yochum and three friends on Friday night <laughs> headed up to Nashville Nightmare in Madison, a horror thrill campus with four separate haunted houses, an escape room, carnival games, love it. food vendors, love and it. more. Ooh, sounds, I love by it. the way, it sounds amazing. It does sound amazing. Sounds amazing. Too. Like, even at the Haunted Hayride here in L.A., it's a big... It's like a campus of stuff. Yeah. And and that's what I like more than even the ride is you're in the festivity yes. of it. It's like you're, the atmosphere yes, of it. Yes, you're in you're the immersed. atmosphere of the time I of agree. year. Yeah, Thank that's what you. I it's love. It's really nice. I love it. I love it. Yochim. So they go there. They headed up to Na- Nashville Nightmare in Madison with haunted houses, escape room, games, food, vendors, more. Right. Quote, Halloween is, ask any of my friends, my favorite time of year, Jay said. I go all out for decorating. I watch a horror movie every day. I get really <laughs> excited about going to haunted houses. Uh, oh, there was one day where he didn't watch one. I yeah. swear to me. It was <laughs> not every day. No, I do it every day. Jay, I do it every lie. day. I do you it did every yesterday. day. Yesterday, you had to go to work. And you weren't with me all day. I did it when I went to <laughs> you sleep. You went to hell. Went to hell because you went to work instead of church. The... And this also is the time of year. This and Christmas is when the Hallmark Channel really shines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. They do their scary movies every year, and then they go right into like 80 straight days of of holiday Christmas movies. It's the best. Dan loves it. I do really love it. And I don't care if it's kitschy. It's mine. No, no, no. Dan, it is not kitschy. It's the Hallmark Channel. It's the Hallmark. (laughs) (laughs) There's nothing kitschy about it. nothing kitschy about it. Uh, Before the night took a turn for the truly macabre. Uh. Yochim, Jay, and his friends, he said, had a fantastic time in the attractions. Quote, we had so much fun. We were jumping around, he said. There were character actors. Cute. I know, jumping around, I'm like, I bet he means from place to place. Right. But in my mind, there was an adult bounce house. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. It. Shaped Cute. like a huge pumpkin. Yes. There were there were character actors in the courtyard <laughs> space Sorry. near the... Called a, it's called a jumpo, yes. a jumpo lantern. <laughs> there were character actors in the courtyard Jacko space... Jacko Trampern. ...near the escape game building and carnival games where the group was standing. <laughs> Jay's group started laughing and joking with someone they thought was a cast member. Oh. Yes. Did, That's bad okay. when, you're, when you look so bad that people think you're like a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Some people want to. I mean, come on, honey. At like, one a little point, less pancake look at this makeup. Guy. Okay. Look at this guy right here. I mean, they're, they're just trying not to be scared. Like, look at this yeah, fucking idiot right guy. here. He's Weird he's comb over, poking him. And... Yeah. Ready for this? Yeah. So yes. they're, they're joking around with oh somebody gosh, that so they think is a cast member. I love it, I love it. Oh, he's dead. At one point, the cast member handed one of Jay's friends a knife and told her to stab Jay Yochum with it. What? What? The cast member, in quotes, wanted her to stab Jay Yochum as retribution for a joke made at the cast member's expense. Oh, <laughs> so they're like probably joking and be like, you're not a real client or whatever This it was. is retractable, right? Right. And, and so the, the cast member, or who they think is a cast member, gives them a knife. Gives them a knife. To his friend and oh tells her, stab Jay Yochum with this knife. Is it's this also prosecutable? It's so funny to like be like, it's so weird. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if he's got a knife and he's like, I want this guy stabbed, why didn't he do it himself? Because you, like, you, like, you make you, someone else an accomplice. Oh, I see. I he see pulls the strings. He's a he ma- he Manson. He Manson the situation. He's a Halloweener. Quote This is from Jay. <laughs> this yeah. is from Jay. Keep in mind, we'd been chasing. We'd been we had been chased by chainsaws, holding other weapons and all yes. kinds of stuff sure. all night and it was all fake. Part right. of the fun. Right. So he holds out his arm. No. Oh my god. No. Ah. And she stabbed ah! She stabbed me with it and that's when everything got really black. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Why did she do that? Why did he hold her? Oh, Why did you're he handing hold us a knife? Arm? Yeah, I'll go along with this. Oh. Like, you definitely try to see if it goes. Ready for this? Of course. You when, Jay, when Jay Yochum looked down, he or put saw. put on the wall and do that. He saw blood pouring from a knife wound that went clear through his forearm. Oh, oh, please. 
my God. Wait, how old is this guy? <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. We get to play Guess the Age. This is so fun. Uh, oh, la- the guess th- the Age. I'm the literally age. rocking in terror right now. <laughs> That's oh. crazy. The thing I remember he said is the guy who gave it to her kind of freaking out. So the cast member guy kind of freaking out and saying things like, oh, I didn't know my knife was that sharp. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. I didn't know my knife was that sharp. Right. Is it pointed on the end? It's like saying, is it a knife? Right. Exactly. I didn't know that heated pot was so hot. (laughs) Yeah. Guys, here's a rule in the the Dunkey Will Town that people might need to know. Anything with enough force will go through anything else. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and if it's, that's great. That's just physics. I you know. could put, you know? you can put a screwdriver through someone's There's arm. like tornado, really aftermath tornado footage of like a straw through a light pole. Like if it's just, if you're doing it just right so true. and it's it's bladed, I don't care how sharp it is. It's bladed. There's a tip to it. It will go through something. Just Imagine the, the guy being like, hey, take my knife. Okay, I'll take it. Now put it in his arm. Put your arm out. All right, I'll put my arm out. Put it through his arm. Okay, so I'll stab it. Like you're all dumb. You're all dumb. Everyone's the arm dumb. out's yes. dumb. The handing of yes. the knife guy's dumb. The girl putting it through the thing is dumb. Inle- unless they really wanted to hurt this guy. Then they're not being Their dumb. own friend, they're, Jay? Well, then they're being very No, no, smart. not the, the person who handed the knife. If that person really wanted to inflict pain for real. And made the girl do it. And made the girl yeah. do it. I think that's not mean, dumb. No, he's didn't achieving. Make her, he asked her. No, but he's using co- the cover of the yeah. event and the knife. It's kind of brilliant. <laughs> Jay's, I mean, come, not, Jay's, Jay's, come Jay's like, why doesn't this happen more often? Why are we, why are we coming down on this guy is what I'm saying. <laughs> Jay, why are we so you're anti-Jay. Jay. Hold on I a am? minute. Jay. Wait a minute. <laughs> are you a real cast member? <gasps> um, you're a real cast member of this show? <laughs> take this knife. <laughs> no. Okay, stick I'll it in Mary's it. arm. All right, fine. And you'll Mary, see. Here's my arm. You know what? Here's my chest. No. Just stab it right in my heart. Could you imagine? Yeah, stab me in the heart. I know. That's so crazy. All the way through. Everything Everything went. You really use force because that. That can't be easy to do. All the way through. Everything is a little hazy for Jay Yochim around then, but uh. he remembers coming to lying on a table with cast members trying to keep him conscious as his friend was bawling next to him because she just stabbed her she friend. Yeah, yeah. Arm. right. And that guy, the guy who gave the knife, nowhere to be found. Quote, no one wants to stab their friend, he said. Oh, well, really? welcome to Dumb People Town. Yeah, exactly. I've been stabbed, and I still can't even imagine what it's like to accidentally hurt your friend like that. Oh, Jay has a lot of empathy, yeah. even though he's the one. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Jay. That's why we call him Jay. Yes. I like To him. enter the attraction, each visitor must go through metal detectors, which Yochim said were, quote, very thorough and attentive. No weapons were allowed inside the attraction. Great. Mm-hmm. Quote, this is from the company, as we've continued to review the information, we believe that an employee was involved in some way. That's the thing. They don't know if this person even worked for them or not. Right. And he has been placed, well, I guess they do now, he has been placed on leave until we can determine his involvement. Nashville Nightmare Organizers said in an email statement Tuesday evening, we are we are going over all our safety protocols and all of our staff again, as the safety and security of all our patrons is always our main concern. Wow. I'm going to ask you guys right now, mm-hmm. how old mm-hmm. is James J. Yochum. Too much fun leaves marks in life. Living hard, you'll pay the price. Who is gonna get it right? Guess the age. Guess the age. Mary, you are a guest. You can go first, Tig, which is second, or third. You Tig Nataro was the can, first person you to ever guess. say she the wanted three of us second. are gonna guess because we have no. You want to get Tig? Okay. okay, you're going Tig. Jay, go first. He's 33. 33 years old. The year of our Lord. Yes. Which is very good. Mary. Mary. 49. 49 years wow. old. Just a dude loving, doesn't talk to his kids, but loves a haunted house. And I relate. Yeah. 23. 23. He's young. He's still going old. to haunted houses. He's young. Okay. He's, he's got Johnny's... friends that would stick it in. I mean, actually, I take that back. He's 19. He's, he's 19? 19. 19. Oh, okay. okay. Got an still using that dumbass nickname. All right. James. J. J. Yochum. Dan, I call him J. Jay Yochum, mm-hmm. the man who loves haunted houses more than anything, watches a haunted movie every single day. I mean, single one day, every day. Goes all out, teased a cast member, and got You know he's going to be like, I, this isn't going to stop my love of haunted houses. Oh, no. In fact, he's going to love it even more. Oh, strengthen it. There is no one that's ever going to talk to him for more than 30 seconds that isn't going to hear about this scar. Exactly. Yep, 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 that's yep, the first totally. thing that comes yep. out of his mouth on a telemarketer call. Probably yeah. going to get a tattoo around the scar, like a circle, and then the yeah, words, yeah, ask yeah. me. Right. Ask, right. ask about <laughs> Ask me about this. Yes. <laughs> that's kind of a cool tattoo. It is cool. Okay. Ask okay. me about this. 
James J. Yochum is. Get your answers in now, Tony. He is 29 years old. Oh, wow. What's up? Uh, hey, it takes a J to know a J. I, I knew him, sure I knew him intimately, inside and out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you yeah. try. There you go. I, know. I oh tried. My God. I thought he was a father. <laughs> he hey, might be. Hey, he's a father figure, well, I mean, but not yeah, yet a father. He might be. Yeah. be, might be. How would you say 49? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish he was. I'm almost 49. Yeah. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, if you go to a haunted house, this just don't take a check to see if it's a real knife. If someone asks you to stab someone, that's, that's it. That's all right. Yeah. If we do anything on this podcast and we teach you that, mm-hmm. or or just say, you know what, I'll pass on stabbing I'm gonna, someone. I'm gonna, I know. I'm on a, a serious. I mean this. The knife is always real. The gun is always loaded. Yep. That's how you need to yeah, live. That's how you gotta live your life. Yeah. That's yeah. how you gotta always live real. your life. The yeah. gun is always loaded. The car is always full of gas. <laughs> the, ma- the maid is always passed out <laughs> the in the kitchen. The maid is always drunk. The maid is always drunk. The butter shots are always the ice cream is always gone. Yeah, if you do tell you that, you're only ever gonna be. You'll only ever be happy if you tell yourself the ice cream is always gone. Assume your ice cream is gone. And then when you open up your freezer, you got a treat. You got a treat. You got a lovely little surprise. Let's take a break. Story two. Story two down the. Dan, give us a little teaser for story three. Oh, just a dumb criminal with a horrible excuse. I love it. All right, Mary Holland's with us. We have one more story. This is Dumb People Town. Stay with us. Stick around. Make a sound for more Dumb People Town. Hey there, Adam Kahn over here. Humans Who Make Games is my podcast where I sit down with the people who created some of your favorite video games and have the kind of long-form personal conversation we so rarely get to hear. We talk about how they got into the industry, what their favorite games were growing up, and what it's like working in the trenches of this century's greatest new art form. This season, we've got a whole batch of new interviews for you. I talked to Kim Swift from Portal, Alex Preston from Hyperlight Drifter, Anna McGill from Control, and Alex Beecham from the game Outer Wilds. Whether you love video games or you just love learning more about other artists' creative process, I can guarantee you're going to love this podcast. So you can get season two of Humans Who Make Games wherever you get your podcasts. Take a listen. Hey, Tony's, welcome back to the show. We got Mary Holland here. We got one more story, we Dan. Do. Take us home, brother. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to remind everybody, too, go to DanielVanKirk.com. I'm coming somewhere near you. Come see me. Sklar's as well, guys. Yes, Make we'll sure be. You go see him. That's right. We will be. I believe this is going to drop because we're recording some of these yeah. early, but I believe it's this drops. Halloween. It's before Halloween, but it, I think it's after we were in Phoenix, is my Could guess. Be, yeah. So this might be dropping on Halloween or close, damn near close to <gasps> it. How before. spooky. Is it? I can't yeah. remember. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> at any point, if it's before Phoenix, we'll be there doing Live Down People Town. 25th at, and 26th. 25th yes. at the uh, Papa Podcast Studio with Burke Kreischer as our guest. And then we're headlining the uh, Tempe Improv the next night on that Friday night. Please and come. We're going to be in Austin headlining the uh, Cap City Comedy Club, one oh of the gosh. best comedy clubs in the country, the 7th through the 10th of November. And just... Plenty of a, and then Largo, we're doing a live down People Town on December tenth. So you gonna we're gonna get a big guest for okay. that. Please come out for that if you want to. Those tickets will go. I'm telling you. Uh, but all that stuff, supersclars.com. You can check it out. Mary, do you have a live show coming up, up the Southwest? Just every um, week at UCB. I every week at UCB. Um, yes, we are. I'm trying to think when this show. Well, the the next show, if this is coming out towards the end of October, it will is. be. Um, uh, November 3rd, Great. Wild mm-hmm. Horses at UCB has Betsy Sodaro. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, who's a real good. dream Oh, boat. she's a treasure. Oh, awesome. that's a great um, show. If you haven't seen Wild Horses, you need to. Yes, please. Are you ready for this, Ride guys? with us. Ride. <laughs> Sent in by Christopher Malkowski mm-hmm. at Crunchy Roll, but it's R-O-L-E. Crunchy hmm. Roll. I'm sorry. Crunchy Roll. Crunchy? C U N C H Y R O L E. That sounds so dirty. Crunchy is like someone Cunchy. you call, Cunchy. like when you There's call, no like someone who works, who's kind of a bitch at a Whole Foods store. <laughs> there you she's go. Kind of crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> like she's just, what was? Like I asked. Conky her, Chambles. Conky Chambles. A man was arrested Saturday morning okay. after getting stuck up on a roof Chris of Fairbanks. a convenience store 
in DeLand, Florida, north of Orlando. Oh, no. Stuck up on the roof. Stuck up on the roof of a, of a convenience store It's very in easy to get stuck up on a roof. Because right. you can get up there. If you can get up there. Then how are you going to get down? Right. Like, that's it's the most scary. inconvenient thing about a convenience store. It's yeah, it's the roof the access. Roof, oh, the roof right. itself. Boo, yes. Just high five, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> According to a video released by the Volusia, Volusia? County Sheriff's Office, the owner of the store saw a head pop over the roof mm-hmm. of the locked store and heard a man saying, quote, I'm dying, I need help. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's like, when the owner okay. just called the cops. All right, so. <laughs> yes. yes. So you know how, like, most people, when you see, like, baby, oh, we got squirrels in the attic. Right. This is like Florida. You're like, we got dumb people on the roof. Oh, yeah, 100%. We're fucked. Like, yeah. we're, we and gotta I get them the, out. The owner of the store is like walking up to the store, like walking up to open up his store <laughs> and just sees a little head pop up and then I come need back help. That, I'm it, dying. Yes. Also, oh my God, it's so, it, it, uh, if someone said to me in that context, I'm dying, I need help, My, I'm so ashamed to say that my first thought is, no. It's bullshit. <laughs> what am I no. getting dragged into? Yes. yes. You, you're you're it, not dying. So that's the cautious, <laughs> smart way but to approach But this is what you have yeah. to do because we're heading into this season right now. You have to spray for meth heads every you really single do. time. Spray. And just you gotta up spray and down the house. If you want to tent the store, spray for them. especially the roof. The roof. <laughs> Roof and your, Mary, Dude, have, you, you, have you had your roof sprayed for meth heads yet? No, but I haven't. It's the season. No, well, I spray the sides. Okay, I never spray well, the roof. Well, then you don't want to get roof bumps. They, those are really hard to get <laughs> really? rid of. I just They're love really... this store owner being like, what? I'm dying. Okay, I'm going to call the cops. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm dying, man. Yo, I know. No, yeah. I know you are. I'm going to call the cops. I'm dying to call the cops right <laughs> yeah. now, so stop interrupting me. Yeah, Best yeah, yeah. people to help you. Yeah, Men in blue. According to the video, that's where you see him call the cops. After law enforcement officers got him down, the shirtless man later identified as Michael Wait Monticelli. Wait a minute. He was shirtless? That this doesn't seems add up. surprising. Said he was sim- Said he was simply thirsty and in need of water, which I hope they're being like, right, you're under arrest. I just want some water. I mean, okay, you know, yeah, you're under arrest. Is that arrest. such a crime? Thirst. Is that such a crime? I mean, if you, if you guys have ever been like really thirsty, then it does it. kind of feel like dying in a way. Yeah. You guys, you know what yeah. I mean? She's you don't understand. So right. Like, you no, don't we're, get it. we're arresting She's you so right bad. now. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. I just really need some no, water. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Can I just have a little bit of water? Oh, just a little bit. So of water. right. God. I'm going to show you guys a picture of this dude. He, oh, no. <laughs> he's everything we want he him looked, to be and more. If Ethan Embry's character from Empire Records went the wrong way, oh, that's kind of what that he. Character. That's kind of what he oh, looks like. He yeah. just he has like a, a, a bad Ethan Embry and a tattoo necklace. He looks like Don't Brian. Tattoo he looks like Jeremy our buddy Renner. Brian Redman. <laughs> so he's got he like Brian Redman tattoos. and a little Jeremy Renner in there. Jeremy Renner. He's got tattoos. He's kind of. What is that? That looks like a, a like helmet? a fireman's helmet. Maybe a fireman's helmet. It's a fireman's helmet. Yeah. So he's. Okay, so Sorry. he's he's wearing athletic shorts, yet nothing looks athletic about him at no, all. No, not at all. Not he's got, at it's all. It's like if Umbro's, like that should be a new ad for Umbro's. Yeah. Yeah, do what you can. Um, Umbro's, <laughs> we'll get you down off the roof. Deputies did Love not it. believe that he wasn't trying to break into the business. Of course he was. Guys, why don't you understand about this? I went up on the roof to get some water. I'm not trying to break in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Why am I? Everyone the... knows that water is up high. Okay. <laughs> How else am I going to get water? Hello, water rises. <laughs> we know water this. Water rises. What, uh, if it doesn't, tell me. Okay, explain clouds. Yeah. What, what happens? Does, yeah. I ra- How do clouds ra- work? This is a guy who. <laughs> what while happens not in every co- flooding? The water rises. <laughs> exactly. You think I'm crazy? It's Weather Channel shit. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. This is a guy who, who, while not in court, ends every argument with "I, I rest, rest my, my case." case. Right. Why wouldn't it be up there? I rest my I case. I rest my case. They I went he, up on the roof to get some water, and then I got up there and I got stuck, and I thought I was dying. I rest said, my case. <laughs> they said he climbed a tree to gain access to the roof. I'm going to ask you guys now. You've all seen a picture of him. Mm-hmm. How old this do, is do you think this guy is? Michael Monticelli. Too much fun leaves marks in life. Living hard, you'll pay the price. Who is gonna get it right? Guess the age. Guess the age. Okay, I'll go take. Okay, okay take again. Tig. All right, then Jason I'll go. Murray. I'll go. You first. go first. I'll go first. Randy says I, this guy is thirty-one years old. Thirty-one years old. Mary. Mary. This guy is forty-nine years old. Forty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're not, you're not budging off no, that. No, 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 no. Hey. One of these guys is going to be 49. <laughs> Kevin Pollock went back to back, same same money, and he got, and them, he both got them both exactly right. right. Oh, my God. So there's yeah, nothing wrong with what you're exactly going for. Right. Jason Sklar. Uh, I would say, if you told me this guy was in the band Sublime, I would also be like, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And he passed away. 20, 27. He's a ghost. 27 years old. Okay, so Randy says. 31. 31. Mary says. 49. 49. Jason, 27. 27. Jason says 27. One of you is exactly right. Oh, my God. So now we get to play the second game, which, which is, is which who, one of us is exactly right. right. Okay, I'm sorry. What were the ages again? So 31, 30, 31 yeah. 27, 27, 49. 49. So you okay. have a chance to redeem yourself. Do you want to go first, Tig, or third <laughs> in the second level of this game? I'm going to go Tig every time. Okay, okay. so Jay. I'm right. I'm I right. know that it's and I and I think well, I'm right. Hold on, Let Mary, her go. Oh, sorry, sorry. It. go, Mary. Okay, so you're right, and you said 30, 27. 27. Okay. Okay. Um, here's the thing. I, I was know closest. Before. I'm right. Oh, <laughs> wow. and I good know confidence. it's 49. Okay, great. <laughs> good Mary. confidence. Just look at her commitment. I'm gonna say I'm right. He's 31. 31. Mm-hmm. Okay, Townies, get your answers in now. Because... Shout both answers. Don't you love that there is somewhere across America at this very moment, people are in their cubicles, people are on the subway, yes, just yelling out, yep. Randy, 31, Jason, 27, Mary, 49. Mm-hmm. <sighs> get those answers in now, because Michael Monticelli, the man who climbed a tree in search of water, not trying to break any laws, is 49. 31 years old. Yeah! Randy God damn it. So good. You should have been 49. We're gonna, you should have been 49. God, I feel like I'm up on the roof just drinking And we're going to get out of here on one of my favorite excuses of what someone did when they broke the law. This is what he said. Michael later explained, quote, Monticelli. Sometimes t-shirts write themselves. Mm-hmm. And this is his quote. I didn't even try to do it. It just happened, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're being arrested for breaking. You broke. You, you broke and no, I yeah. didn't even try to. Do, though. It just, it just happened. It just happened, happened man. man. It just, just happened to me. Happened, I love man. that. That to... really makes my heart go out to him because huh? he's like, I really didn't. It just happened, man. Super could confident. be the shirt. Like, That's true. I'm a fucking natural, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got yeah, up yeah. on that roof. That just happened, it. man. <laughs> it just happened, bro. Dude, I didn't even try. I didn't have to try. It yeah. just happened, comma man is the shirt. Is the shirt. I don't think you need the first part. It just happened. It just happened, man. I think you're right. Thank you. Boom. <laughs> Boom. I think you're right. Those That's like every dumb people, town, everything in W Town just happened. That's right. Oh, well, there you go. Right. Holy shit! Uh, definitely check uh, Mary out. Uh, how can people follow you on the Twitters and they the Instagrams? They can follow me on the Twitters at mholland85 and on the Instagrams at Mary Hollandays, like the Sula. Holiday. And if you get the chance to see her live, don't. Fucking yeah, nice. don't do that. Mean it. Do it, do it, do it. And you get a chance to see Dan live, get a chance to see us live. We'd love to see you out there. And oh shit, we got to get back to work. Dum, 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 dum.